all right guys welcome back this is going to be part c short answer questions please like and subscribe so we can keep the channel going thank you so question one alima owns a small high street store selling clothes shoes and fashion accessories alima plans to start using online systems to assist her business two features of social media are status updates and data analysis tools describe how alima could use these features to assist her business so quite simply we know what data, well, we should know what status updates are because many of you guys, many of you young people are addicted to your phones, addicted to YouTube, Instagram, Snapchat. That's what that, Those are what status updates are. So when your favorite celebrity or YouTuber or streamer puts something out on any one of the social media platforms, YouTube, Snapchat, Facebook, so on and so forth, that's what a status update is. They're giving you information about something data analysis tools we use it to analyze data so we get data from what is happening on the website from what's happening on the social media we need to analyze it we might need to break down how many people actually buy stuff when they click on a link how long do people stay on the basket page because that might mean mm, they're thinking about the price so maybe you should give them a discount when they get there how many people do x thing or does x thing so for status updates, we have to provide information to customers on new products and to enhance sales. So when something comes out that's new, a very nice, quick and easy way for a relatively small business and even larger ones to put the information out there is maybe not to do it in a newspaper. I mean, status updates get to millions of people per second, right? So that makes sense to enhance sales. By doing that, they'll get more clicks. They'll get more views. People want to come to the website and buy more or come to the shop and buy more. To provide regular updates on brands, products, events. That's very true. More or less an extension of that one there. To maintain or increase customer interest in products. And brand to maintain a high profile of brand. Keep people looking at your stuff. Keeps you relevant. When you're relevant, people want to know what you're doing. When people want to know what you're doing, they'll come and actually look and see and potentially buy. When we look at data analysis tools, to identify demographic. Or, or trends so the demographic who are the people who are buying your stuff where are they from people typically people who buy i don't know size eight to ten air force one trainers are probably students in in secondary school or college maybe people in uni so you want to capture that gap or that range of people if they like buying a certain type of shoes for a certain price and a certain color maybe push more of that to them to enable targeted marketing personalized ads to uh, adapt his or her business to suit the clientele so targeted marketing whenever i go onto amazon i typically look for the exact same thing every time ssds ram graphics cards phones laptops tablets so now amazon knows exactly what i want so the cookies that were saved by amazon are saved by whichever website whenever i go to other websites those items keep popping up for me so i don't even have to look for something when i log into amazon it just always has those top four or five things highlighted for me because that's targeted marketing it knows what i like so it targets me specifically and that's very good it's, it's personalized to me there's absolutely no point in amazon trying to sell me makeup and shoes and clothes when i want a pair of shoes i go into tk maxx i go into jd or one of those shops and i just grab something and i leave it makes more sense for amazon to push the things that it knows i've been looking at so personalized ad targeted marketing